What's up everybody? This is Too Loud Tech and we're back with another video. Today I got something awesome to share with you guys. Bottle Sierra Light slash Kiroki or Kiroki, however you want to pronounce it, has gotten to a state where I feel comfortable to share it with you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and boot that up now while I talk. And um basically I've been testing this out for like a day and I've really enjoyed it so far. It has a little quirks here and there, but nothing I can't get past and I'm pretty sure most of you guys would mind either. Um, it's a lot more customizable, has a lot more options. Um, it has over the air updates, has screenscaper, retro achievements, net play, Bluetooth's working. Um, HDMI is working, Wi-Fi is working, and um, I want to show you a little bit of it before I show you how to do the install. So, has some fly little music in here. Pretty cool. And if you guys notice, it looks a little familiar. I'm not gonna talk about that though. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down now. I'm gonna show you in here how we would do an OTA update once the time is right for you guys. I'm already fully updated, so there's no updates available. Also, I know you guys are gonna be interested, so I downloaded a few themes just to show you guys. Some of these look really good. I mean, beautiful artwork. I mean, beautiful. Got a couple more in here for y'all. This one's called Retroama. Or retro Rama. Pretty nice. Nice little art style. Font's a little small in the menu for me. Especially at a distance, like behind a viewfinder. My favorite so far is Artflix. It looks like Netflix. With more beautiful artwork. So now without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how to install this and I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, so welcome to my PC. So I'm going to drop all the links in the description. And first thing we're going to do is download mini tool partition wizard. We're going to need this to format our SD card and we're going to get the free edition. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And then we're going to go over to Belina Etcher's website. We're going to download the Windows version. I download the installer. And while that's downloading, we'll head over to the GitHub for Batasira Light. This is the newest version. We're going to scroll down. We're going to select the file that ends with GZ. It's a 1.29 gigabyte file. So they're all downloading. We'll minimize that. I already had them previously downloaded. So for you guys who have not installed mini tool, go ahead and install that. Belina, go ahead and install that and then follow along. In mini tool, we're going to choose our SD card which we should know it by the size. And this is mine. I just used the 16 gig. We're going to make sure that it's going into FAT32 for the format. I'm going to name mine Batasira. And I'm going to apply. Yeah, man. I want to do it. OK. 
Okay, now that that's finished, we're going to go ahead and quit that. Now, in Belina Etcher, we're going to go ahead and select the file we want to flash. We're going to make sure that the SD card is selected that we want to use. Select, hit flash. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up for y'all so y'all don't have to sit through it. It doesn't take that long, probably like five minutes, depending on the speed of your PC. When it's done, you're going to go ahead and safely eject it. And you're going to move it over to your RG. And you're going to let it do its first initial boot. And it will create its folders that you're going to need later. So we're going to close this. We're going to allow this to finish. When it finishes, we're going to go ahead and close it. Close that. And then down here, we're going to go ahead and safely eject our SD card. Go ahead and remove it. Put it in your RG. So now that we're back from the install, we're going to do our first initial boot. I did it on an extra SD card just to be able to show you guys how it's going to go. And to be fair, I've not run into much bugs, but a friend of mine, Javi, he's ran into a few bugs on, on the uh, Plus. So you guys are going to have to give me a second. I cut the audio here because my RGB 30 was trolling me. It started playing some really loud music and I didn't want that to affect the video. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that down. But I didn't want to cut this part of the video out because I wanted you guys to see how long it takes for the first initial boot. The RG is still doing its first boot in the background. So this is in real time because I want you guys to see. Now, second time, I feel like the RGB is trolling me. I want you guys to go and give it a play. But this is still booting. The first time takes a little bit. And for your one SD card setup, you're going to want to put this in now. And then you're going to want to bring it back over to your PC or to your Mac. And at that point, it would have created your BIOS and your ROMs folders where you will place your BIOS and ROMs. And here, we're back over to the PC. And here, we're going to see that it created two different partitions on the SD card. The one we're going to want to use is the one named share. This is where it hosts our BIOS and our ROMs. We're going to want to move our BIOS into this folder. And after that, we're going to want to go over to our ROMs folder. And this is where we would place our ROMs. They're all labeled by the emulator type. And that's where you would put your ROMs. Okay. Bodocera does come with a few sample ROMs. Nothing extravagant. So when we're done with that, loading up our ROMs and BIOS, remember, we're going to safely eject and put it back in our RG. And for your two SD card setup, I'll show you what you're going to do. You would place your second SD card in the 2FT slot. You would hit start. You would go to system settings. Oh, I forgot. First thing first. They have the buttons crossed here. So it has BS select and A that's back. Like a PlayStation setup. I know I don't care for that. I know many of you guys won't. Here's where you would change your time zone. I'm not going to go through that right now with y'all. But what I will do is if you guys just hit up. You're going to go to the front end developer options. In the front end developer options, you're going to keep scrolling down until you find Where art thou? Okay, here we go. Switch confirm and cancel buttons in emulators. And this is under user interface. 
here. You're going to just hit that. You're going to go back. And now we're able to select. We're able to select with A. So I'll bring us back here again. Go start. Go into the menu. For the people using two SD cards, you're going to go back into system settings. You're going to scroll up. You're going to go to storage device. You're going to change this to any external. Or it will have the name of your external SD card. And at that point, it will put the folders you need on that SD card. You will pop it out and you would plug it into your PC or your Mac. And that's where you would install your BIOS and your ROMs at that point. So now we would take our SD card, second SD card from the RG and put it back into the PC. We'll get a message like this that pops up. We're not going to be too worried. We can go ahead and click it and we're not going to scan and fix. We're just going to continue without scanning. Then here we got our BIOS folder where I've already put my BIOS and then we have our ROMs folder. And here I've already put my ROMs. So you guys would do the same. You put your GBA, your Game Boy Advance and GBA, your Game Boy and GB and so on. As you see, I put a few ROMs on here. Like I said, I've been testing it out for like a day. I've been enjoying it. So after we're done loading our ROMs and BIOS, we're going to safely eject and pop it back into the RG. So I actually want to show those of you who are new to this, how to use screen scraper. And I've already scraped my stuff, but what you would do is you would go into your settings by hitting start. You would go down to scraper in scraper. You would go to scraper settings in the bottom. You would put in your username and password. You would sign up for Scraper online if you haven't already. Then here, I like to use the... Hold on one second. I like to use the Mix V2. And then I also like to get the video. And I like to get the manual. And then after you're done, you would come here and you would allow it to scrape any games that are missing media and you would hit scrape now. Like I said, I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it, but that's the way you do it. And then you want an update. Like I said earlier, you do check for updates and then you would hit start. Here we have content downloader, which I'm not connected to Wi-Fi at this moment. But I could go ahead and do that real quick. My Wi-Fi is enabled. Now, if I go back into updates and downloads, go to content downloader. It'll show me a bunch of content here for the different emulators, also different bezels. And you can download these. You can download different bezels, different themes. They have plenty of themes, ratings on them, all kind of stuff. Like I said, this has been performing well for me. It is still a beta. So I want y'all to keep that in mind. But there are over the over the air updates. And um, the devs have been putting in a lot of work. So if you guys want to support them, go ahead and install this. I hope y'all enjoy it. That's it for me. This is Too Loud Tech. And remember, you're here listening to a friend. Peace.